All right, let's look at Kevin and see where we're getting this wire from. Hey, Kevin. Hey, so uh, wire comes on spools like this. And uh, this, is, this is a 678 foot spool. And uh, when it comes like that, uh, it doesn't lend itself very well to building the, the rows that you just saw Kev build. In fact, if uh, they come up pretty, pretty bendy, if you don't straighten them, not very useful. So what I built is this straightener. What we do is we actually stretch the wire about an inch and a half for three feet in order to strengthen it and also to straighten it. And you'll be able to see in a second that it's uh, very straight. Let's give it about an inch and a half, half an inch or so per foot. Voila, it's, it's very straight now. It's straight enough that we can correct any, uh, any the last little bit of bend uh, when we do the soldering. And we do this 80 times per panel. Oh man, so how many total feet is that? The, the cube will consume almost 4,000 feet of this wire. We'll, we'll be doing about almost 1,500 of these connects, uh, these cuts just like this. So why are you using the vice grips then, opposed to uh, some other method? Well, actually, we uh, this is a this is a repair. Uh, when I originally built the stretcher, I did it a little differently, and we were wasting a lot of wire. We uh, came up with the vice grip method in order to lock the wire in, rather than uh, the other method, which wastes a lot. Now, as it turns out, we waste about an inch, a little less than an inch per wire. And we, but we're actually putting that stretch into the wire so there's no waste, no net waste. We store them in this tube. These are all we've cut so far. This is for the, this is approximately enough for one panel. <laughs> and what gauge was this again? This is 16 gauge um, pre-tinned soft copper wire.